Cartoon Recaps here. Today I will be recapping the episode 8 and 9 of the animation series called, The Battle Through the Heavens. Spoilers ahead, relax and enjoy. This episode beginning with Xiao Yan, who hurries to defend his cousin Xiao Ming, and Xiao Yu, who were about to be killed by his father's greatest enemy Jia Lai. Jia Lai guards are surrounding them, while Xiao Yan goes on a one-on-one -on -one combat with the son of Jia Lai. Xiao Yan uses every teachings his master thought him to try and subdue Jia Lai's son. But unfortunately, Jia Lai's son has a secret technique on his own and uses it to defeat Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan's sister hears of her brother's predicament and also hurries to the incident to assist her siblings. Jia Lai's son pounces on Xiao Yan with all the powers he has, but Xiao Yan still defends himself. But the powers is really too strong to hold much longer. Xiao Yan cries in pain for his mysterious master to help him. Outranged, his master unleashes his own powers on Jia Lai's son, and finishes him off. Immediately that happens, his sister arrives. Jia Lai sees his son half dead on the ground, and unleashes his fury and anger in Xiao Yan, and his sister. They tried really hard to shield themselves from Jia Lai ultimate power, but it is really too strong for them. Xiao Yan and his sister are about to be killed by Jia Lai. But fortunately for them, their father, Xiao Zhan, comes to their rescue. Xiao Zhan uses the furious tiger energy technique and attacks Jia Lai. Jia Lai is no match for Xiao Zhan, who is much more stronger than him. And Xiao Zhan is about to finish off Jia Lai in anger, the elder of the Jia Lai family comes to his rescue. He is called Jia Lai Nu, who is the strongest person in the Jia Lai family. There is a battle about to begin as more of the Xiao family members also arrives in the fight. They are the elders in the Xiao family. Jia Lai knowing the situation might get worse because of his son's condition, tells Jia Lai Nu, the elder in his family, to retreat. As Xiao Zhan and the other Xiao relatives goes to attack the Jia Lai family, Jia Lai Nu uses an energy technique that made them escape, leaving the fight for another day. Xiao Zhan gives his son a portion to heal his wounds. Xiao Yan is also really grateful to his sister, who has always been there for him. The Xiao family elder are really troubled on the elder of the Jia Lai family return. They believe if their family goes on a war with the Jia Lai family again, it is going to cause a whole lot of damage. Meanwhile, Jia Lai is so angry about the fight. His son who is now on a wheelchair because of the fight approaches his father. He tells his father that Xiao Yan has become stronger, and is even now strong enough to defeat Narlin. Now they must grab as many helping hands as possible, especially Lai Zogi, who can help them with formidable portions to defeat the Xiao family. Xiao Yan knows that as long as Lai Zogi keeps helping Jia Lai, things will keep getting worse for them. So according to his master's advice, he goes to Lai Zogi house to end him once and for all. Lai Zogi as usual is busy have his fun with women. Before Xiao Yan could reach his house, his sister has already arrived and uses a dangerous technique in her to kill Lai Zogi in a blow from her powers. Xiao Yan later arrives, and all thanks his sister, the Lai Zogi he was about to kill, has already been killed by his sister. But unfortunately for his sister, her energy level has decreased really low, for using that kind of strong powers. Few hours later, the news of Lai Zogi's death has already reached Jia Lai. He knows it was Xiao Yan that killed him. Jia Lai is really outranged, because Lai Zogi was the only person that was to help them defeat the Xiao family. He is now so frustrated because Lai Zogi was also the only person capable of making strong portions they can use against the Xiao family. Jia Lai's son believes Lai Zogi master would also be capable of making such strong portions just like Lai Zogi. Immediately they move forward into finding him. Xiao Yan later goes to the auction house to visit Ye Fei. He wants to know if Jia Lai has visited her to buy any portion from her. Ye Fei replied that that Jia Lai hasn't visited in a while, and gives him a map, containing the location on where Jia Lai is about to go to purchase a forbidden potion. Xiao Yan hurries with the aim of stopping Jia Lai with his evil plans. Before his mission, he takes permission from his father, who is really impressed that Xiao Yan is doing everything he can to help the Xiao family. His father happily allows him to leave, telling him to be really careful. He also gives his dad a potion that will heal his sister who is now weak from the much energy she used to subdue Lai Zogi. And that was how this episode ended. Episode 9 begins with Xiao Yan, who is alone in the middle of the forest. His mysterious master appears to continue his trainings with him. He warns Xiao Yan that he might encounter monsters of any kind in the forest, and if he unfortunately meets one, he must be fully ready to subdue it. His master uses his magic to produce a really strong sword for him, which will be used to protect him from the monsters. The sword is really too heavy. 
So firstly, Xiao Yan must strengthen himself, so he will be able to use the heavy sword. He trains with the sword numerous times, but he keeps falling from the weight of the sword. Xiao Yan still keeps training consistently, and after so many days of trainings in the forest, Xiao Yan started to overcome the weight of the sword and in due time, the sword wasn't heavy for him anymore, as he is now used to the weight of the heavy sword. Xiao Yan hears a girl's voice from the forest, shouting for help. Quickly, he hurries into the forest for her rescue. A lot of beasts are chasing after the girl but Xiao Yan is able to arrive there in time, and uses his magic to subdue all the monsters. Xiao Yan asks her why a pretty girl like her is strolling alone in the forest. To his excitement, it turns out that the girl is a medical expert. She is called Xiao Yi Shen. Who explains that she came to the forest to discover herbs. Xiao questions if she has seen Jia Lai family recently. She replied saying she has seen them and she even knows where they are heading. But in return for revealing Jia Lai location, she requested to be escorted back where her other group members is. Xiao Yan accepted her request, knowing he has no other choice. Xiao Yan successfully escorted her to the camp where her group are staying. Suddenly, beasts started to attack the camp. Xiao Yan and Xiao Yishen notices the danger of the people in the camp and hurries to their rescue. Xiao Yan goes on a battle with the beasts and uses his magic to kill two of the monsters in a blow, causing the other monsters to retreat in fear. His mysterious master informs him that those monsters he killed has a kind of core in its head and it's on a really high demand in the market. Which means they can sell it to earn lots of money. Xiao Yishen is really so impressed about Xiao Yan's bravery and skills, and begs him to join her group. She convinces him that she can help him to make more money by killing more of those monsters. But Xiao Yan isn't interested, as the only reason he came to the forest is to find Jia Lai whereabouts. Xiao Yi Shen begs him to stay with their group for just one night, believing those monsters can attack their group again. And if he does, she will tell him everything he wants to know about Jia Lai. Xiao Yan couldn't help it but to safeguard her group for the night, so he can get the information he needs from her. The leader of Xiao Yi Shen group approaches Xiao Yan. He is really impressed by Xiao Yan martial arts skills and wants him to be on their team, and even promising to make him leader, but Xiao Yan rejected his request. Few moments later, Xiao Yan escorted Xiao Yi Shen to a really high mountain. She tells Xiao Yan that below the mountains is a cave. She believes a lot of treasures are in the cave and wants Xiao Yan to help her take it out. She notices Xiao Yan hesitation to help her, and makes a pinky promise with him of truly helping him by giving him every information he needs, if he helps her get those treasures out. Xiao Yan accepted her request, but he prefers them going together to get the treasure, so he pushes her off the mountains and also jumps, using his magic to catch her, and flies her into the caves. And that was how this episode ended. Thank you for watching guys, I will be recapping more episodes soon. You don't want to miss out, please subscribe to this channel, and keep watching. Bye.